Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Aina. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Jagged, 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 jagged. One of my favorite YouTubers. His name is Denzel. Fabulous. Ghani. Tall. He's wonderful. He walks into a room and you just feel his presence, his aura, his everything, his existence. I'm out of breath. I can't with you. Like, I can't. Like, I literally can't. Like, you think you're funny? Denzel does a lot of like commentary videos, like reactionary videos. And recently he did a really fun video where he critiqued prom dresses. I thought it was really fun, really creative. And like, I genuinely enjoyed his video, his feedback, and just looking at the girls, the girls are bringing it. Instead of critiquing prom dresses, I was like, why don't I just critique prom makeup? I will say those of you guys that are going to prom in 2019 are at an unfair advantage. You have the click of YouTube at the fingertips of your little digits, okay? You have access to so many different things. There's way more drugstore options. There's way more affordable makeup options I'm kind of like there is no excuse anymore let's just say I'm ready for these girls to bring it I may even find some boys now if my review is not completely overly sticky sweet or nice don't feel bad my prom makeup was not that cute <laughs> I had not that many options back in 2005. Yeah, mm -hmm. showing my age. I went to prom in 2005, you guys. Actually, YouTube was around, but it wasn't doing what it is today, all right? The girls nowadays are stepping it up and are not here to play with prom. By the way, if you love reviews, if you love a little bit of tea on makeup, if you don't mind, a little bit of truth telling, make sure you subscribe and join the Jackie Anna family. You probably already watched five videos anyway, so you might as well join. And also be sure you hit that Bell notification so that you never miss new uploads. You'll be the first to know when a video is live and you can be the first to comment and troll. Oh, I have a lot of looks to go through. I actually tried to make it more neutral and I asked people to submit their looks if they got their makeup done professionally. Because if you really think about it, people aren't gonna take it as personal if someone else did it. So I was like, maybe if I kind of add a little buffer in there. So the first girl, she did this makeup for her friend. She says she's a total amateur. The shadow definitely stands out the most to me. It's very clean. I think it's perfect for prom. Definitely perfect for prom. I like to see makeup that's age appropriate. This isn't caked on. This isn't trying to be the player's club, like, you know, Ace of Diamonds. It looks age appropriate. I love that. But where's the lip though? Girl, what happened to the lip? Error, those lip found up. I like the way she bronzed. There's definitely some bronzer there. That's like the perfect shade for her. I love that bronzer. I would like to see a little bit more blush just to kind of warm up the overall look a little bit more. Other than that, I think it's pretty good. What lash is that? That's a cute lash. Okay, so the next thing, lady, I love that you wore your natural hair to prom. There's so many people, you know what? And I'll even say I used to be guilty of this as well, but there are so many black women, especially with like particular curl types that we have this idea in our head that like curly hair can't be formal. Curly hair is very casual. It can't be dressed up. I love that she rocked her. At least that looks like her natural hair to me. I could be wrong because you know the way that these laces go. I don't think it's that. It looks like it's her natural hair, but the makeup is absolutely beautiful. Did she say who did it? Hold on. My guess is it was probably professionally done. I'm looking at everything, honey. I'm looking at that chin snatch. What? This jawline says. And the fact that she chose purples and lavenders goes amazing with what looks like a green hazel eye. I mean, purple looks good on everyone. I feel like brown eyes are just the window to the soul. But hazel, beautiful. Stunting. Everything is blended to perfection. She even winged it. I really have like no critiques about this. Like I wouldn't change anything. I love the lip. The lip is like a caramel, very chocolatey nude. And it's the perfect nude for her too. Good job. Auntie Jackie approves. I love it. Yeah, I wouldn't change anything. And I love the brows. The brows are actually my favorite part. Okay, sis. So no. 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 You, why, well, you hesitated. You thought about it. I didn't hesitate because that shouldn't have been the question. You know you could have gave me a selfie. Where's your selfies? from prom night says she gave me the end of the night post prom turn up picture to be fair she did say this was like after the after party i could definitely see that she doesn't say if she did this herself hmm don't be mad. I love you. I can tell you're clearly a beautiful girl. I think she's absolutely stunning. I love that she went red. It's very unique. I feel like a lot of times people are scared of red. Red is like what everybody assumes only grandmas wear or like everyone over 30 wears. When you're 18, 25 is old. Whatever's going on with the concealer, the under eye could have done some fine tuning. I almost like can't tell if she was crying 
same girl. I don't know what kind of after party that was, but I wanna be invited next time. Everything else looks, it looks okay. Um, the brows are really good. I do love the fact that she went with like, it looks like like something champagne in her eye, like simple winged liner. That's kind of nice. She's really pretty. I don't know if it's enough for prom, if that makes sense. I know you can do better, girl. I know you can do better, but it's cool. I'm not gonna judge too hard because you did say this was the after party after party. Like at the end of the day, it had been worn. So those are just my thoughts. Love you. Now this next girl, wait a minute. Not only did she tell y'all we're coming for the King Joffrey crop, she gave you King Joffrey side swept pixie cut, okay? Very much so here for it. I love this little liner moment. Girl, I wouldn't change a single thing about this makeup look. Absolutely love it. I don't think it's very often you'll see somebody go this bold for prom especially. You gotta really have a particular swag to pull off a look like this, let alone for prom. She did that sis, she really did that. I love the fact that she chose an orange lip. I see you with your color theory, take notes. Take notes from my good sis, Queen Joffrey. She's giving us aquamarine liner. It's really pretty, it's really unique. The brows are simple, the skin looks flawless. Whoever did the highlight, I'm just in awe. It's as if I've never seen a highlight before. I don't even know how to act right now. I think it's beautiful. I don't know what y'all are doing with highlights sometimes. Sometimes it looks chunky, greasy, oily. It just looks like a slip and slide, yellow traffic zone lane like a signal down the street, it's a lot. I too have been there. I've been young, I've been very ambitious with a brush or two back in the day. It's fine, we all outgrow all of these phases, but my good sis, wow. In her message she says, I've taught her a lot about makeup, so I'm assuming based on that, she did this makeup herself. Wow, I'm impressed girl, like wow. Sometimes I feel like you guys give me too much credit. Like I'm good. But sis, that's all you too. You need to give yourself some credit. I believe she has like the Filipino flag like in her caption. So the dress that she's wearing is cultural. I love that. That's really sweet and really unique. Like that's something that you'll never forget about your prom. Ugh. Okay, your skin is flawless. First and foremost, you you might have just did something with this silver carved eye. That is so pretty. It almost kind of looks like it's stacked. So I see two colors. I see like silver here and then I see more intensified silver maybe glitter towards the top of the crease. I love everything. I don't love the brows. The brows, just a little a little shaky. And I mean, you had great brows already. You really could have just threw in some brow gel and I would have been happy. I don't even feel like you needed to fill them in because your brows are that good. And your skin's flawless. Probably made the base like 10 times easier to apply because of that. Shout out to everybody who also sent me pictures of the dresses because sometimes it's helpful just to see how everything from the neck up goes with everything from the neck down. She is wearing like a Cinderella blue, powder blue dress dress, it's almost silvery blue, so the makeup is perfect. You chose the exact perfect makeup look for this exact look. Hair is stunning, dress is stunning, accessories stunning. I know you guys didn't come here for the clothing, you came here for the makeup, since we're talking about it. I mean, I might as well throw that in there too, you feel me? You honestly look like a princess. Like, all you're missing is a crown. Yeah, she definitely needs a crown. Somebody, get, can someone get her a crown? Connor, Connor, crown, thank you. By the way, silver on dark skin can be really tricky to pull off. Sometimes it'll look atrocious and ashalicious, ashadocious, but you made the right choice. Everything else is very creamy, everything else is very peachy, <laughs> soft, very nude. This is the perfect nude for you, by the way. You actually need to wear this nude every day and that highlight too. The highlight falls at the perfect latitude and longitude points on the face. I'm here for it. I'm here for everything. Remember I told you guys we were gonna make yes a thing instead of yes, yes. That's how I feel about this makeup look. When I tell you everything is gold for the debutante boss, she did that. Oh, the skin looks amazing. Also, this is her cousin's makeup. So I'm critiquing the artist. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have thin skin, honey, because I'm gonna go eat. Okay, your cousin is, first of all, beautiful. The makeup, this girl definitely did not miss a beat, honey. She sure didn't, pun intended. Perfectly goes with the dress. She's wearing fuchsia smoked out in her crease area with like glitter on top. This is actually one of my favorite ways to wear fuchsia pink when there's like glitter sprinkled in. It looks so fabulous and upscale and upper echelon, honey. This looks so good. I gotta say my favorite part is probably the brow because I've seen some makeup applications where everything looks good and then they over sculpted the brow. I don't see that here. I think the brow is perfect for her face shape. It's not over arched, it's not under arched. The lash is stunning. I'm also really happy that she went simple with the lip, even though I also, I do also kind of feel like she could have thrown in something with a little bit more color because this just basically looks like she put Fenty Gloss Balm and liner on and that's it, which I'm not mad at. I feel like she could have also thrown on a colored lip. I like the bronzing. Whatever she did to the forehead looks like all it, absolutely flawless. It, her skin, perfect. Only little, 
little thing I would change, and this is me nitpicking just because I have the eye, is whatever's going on under her eye. I don't know if it's the concealer. It might be the powder. It looks like it's a little bit too dry for her because I see it kind of settling there just a little bit. I don't know. It could even be just the way that the picture is edited. If it's edited, I'm not sure. That's just what small part stands out to me, but sis, even the wig cooperated on this day. You had a good makeup day and she knows, she knows she looks good too. She knows she looks bomb because she's batting the lashes in the video. She's doing the most and I'm all the way here for it. I really am. She looks so good. I hope you had so much fun in your prom. You look absolutely beautiful, like bomb. See, this is where I start to get salty because where the hell was y'all at in 2005? Y'all wasn't with me shooting in the gym. No, I'm for real salty because Sephora wasn't even a thing. It existed, but it wasn't what it is now, okay? All we had back then was Mac counters and a prayer and yo mama's 10 year old tube of Estee Lauder lipstick. If you're lucky. The fact that you guys are doing this at your palms, just clearly born in the wrong generation. It's not fair. Can I do it one more time? Ooh! Okay, this, this is so pretty. First of all, your skin looks flawless, period. I really like the fact that you went really dark with your brows. Your brows are very dark. The first thing my eyes go to are the lash and the brow. And you made the perfect brow choice. I don't know if that's all natural, honey. It looks like you did. She did fill them in with a little pencil, a little dip brow, a little shunt and shunt. I don't know what it is, but it looks fabulous. Whatever that lash is, I need to know what that is. Ugh, she's even giving me smiles. I feel like she was sucking her cheeks in a little bit when she took this picture because I don't know, she just looks so sculpted and chiseled. Girl, the only thing I probably would wanna see with this look, I pretty much like it as is, but like a part of me, because everything else is so like mysterious and so fluttery and dark, I kinda wanna see a little bit of a gloss, if not a gloss, a little bit of lip highlight. Your nose is giving me Rudolph in the best way possible. Your inner corner is flawless. The highlight above the brow bone, right above the brow bone and right in the brow bone, flawless. I feel like my good sis did a little reverse contouring cause I see that little powdered line. My good sis knows what she's doing. She came to shut prom down. She's giving you emerald green. She said, I'm dressed like the color of money. Move out of the way. The lashes are here to stay. The brows are here to pay. I really like this look. This looks bomb. Cause I feel like the focus is the skin, but I think a glossy lip would have looked really perfect with the skin. I just love, I just, I just love glossy lips. I like what I like. There's a time and a place. And I feel like this is the time and the place the gloss would have had a front row invite to this beat, but uh, it just looks so good. It looks so good. What blush is that too? I need to know what blush is this girl. You look so pretty. I also love the fact that you kept the hair like mid length, like it just falls at the shoulders. It just feels very like old Hollywood glam and I'm here for it. It's like one of my favorite classic staple looks and it looks phenomenal on you. We have our first Muslima. Oh, this dress. Give me some feathers. Give me these feathers. Give me these feathers. She's wearing my favorite color. My favorite color is pale pink and it looks absolutely phenomenal. And oh my God, sorry. The dress caught my, it's not a Cartier, but wait a minute, sis. You didn't tell me you was gonna bring out the Cartier, the Cartier. Wait just a dime in it. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. She said, looking back, I should have contoured my five head more. Let me tell you something, sis. That makes two of us, okay? That makes two of us. But you know what? What we gonna do is just appreciate what God gave us. You only get one five head, you gotta cherish her. Remember the five head trilogy? Tyra Banks, Rihanna, and I don't know who the third one is. Chrissy Teigen, fine, we'll, we'll give her that. She's she's pretty five head delicious. This makeup is very appropriate for what you're wearing. I think it's the perfect blend of like rosy pinks. For me, if I'm wearing a pale pink dress like this, most of the time I'd probably just go for something that's like rose gold, silvery, that has like reflex. But instead, she kept it kind of more classy with like a rosy pink lip. I love that. I feel like my eyes go straight to the lips. Sometimes, not every day, focus on the eyes, you guys. Don't let these tutorials make you feel like the eyes are the only part that deserve focus. The eyes are not the only part you can focus on. So my good sis said, I'm gonna give you this rosy pink lip from Lancome. I'm just kidding, I don't know what it is, but it's really pretty and I love your brows. You have like brow goals. Can we just trade? You take my microblading and I'll take your natural brow. I'm assuming this is your natural brow sis. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I'm all about it. It's not the best picture, but I can see enough of the makeup to definitely say you did not need to contour your five head. You barely even have one. I think your skin looks flawless. She has the most beautiful complexion. Yes, for a little golden hour selfie, like everything is glowing. The light is hitting the skin in all the right places. To make me 100% happy, I have to say something, right? I mean, you probably could have worn a little bit more highlight, maybe something cream because your skin looks so good that sometimes I don't want to put a powder highlight on top of it. A powder highlight on top of it sometimes looks Sometimes it's way too obvious, way too forced. I think you could have gone in with just a little 
a little bit of like a cream like right here and that would have just elevated the look just a little bit. My lip is wearing off. Don't mind if I reapply because how am I gonna sit here and critique makeup looks and not have my stuff on point either? This is Nude La La from Minton. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of gloss and Sunset Rose from Pat McGrath. Ugh. Her glasses smell so good. That's not what I originally had on at the start of the video, but whatever, she's in the past. She's in my bedroom. I don't feel like getting her. You're not gonna notice the difference either way. If Carrie Underwood and Lady Gaga had a baby, that would be you. First of all, this dress is giving me all time of Winterfell snatched. Okay, she's... Sansa Stark of the North snatched. You look really good. I'm glad you decided to keep silver hair. I'm glad you decided to go with the silver platinum look for your dress. I see you have like a white silver carved eye. Not the best photos. These photos don't really in my opinion, show off the makeup look as much as it really should. Sis, where's the selfies? Girls, we need to see some prom makeup selfies. I don't mean group shots where you cropped into your face. I mean like you take it yourself, give me some under, give me some over, give me some above, give me window lighting, give me ring light, give me something. From what I can see, your makeup looks absolutely flawless. I love the brow. Can I just also say I love when someone does like really light hair and then really dark brows. The contrast of the two look really beautiful when compared to each other and she also looks like she heavily lined her eyes to offset the fact <laughs> offset to just you know balance out the fact that like her eye is basically white because she's got like white silvery looking shadow on her lid which is really pretty and it matches her hair so i love that i see like a peachy orange lip i actually think that looks fabulous peach and silver has got to be the most slept on color combo i feel like most of the time when people wear silver they want to go pink and that's fine that ain't a problem that ain't no problem. I love the fact that she went like orange. So there's kind of like this play on like silver tones, cool, and like orange, a little bit of fire. I love this. This is really, really pretty. I don't know if she did it herself, but she looks amazing. Fabulous. So the time has finally come where there's a look that I don't like. I'm gonna be as nice as possible because I actually think this girl is absolutely beautiful, but I feel like this makeup is just not doing you any justice. Remember earlier what I said about mixing of like orange, like fire with also silver? This is an example of what not to do. I don't like the fact that there's orange in the crease and then it jumps straight into silver in the lid. I feel like there should have been something in between the two. It's just like bringing a man home to the parents to meet them for the first time, right? Like you can't just like not warm them up. Like there's gotta be some kind of transition, some kind of informal intro. That's how I feel about the eyeshadows. I just feel like it went from silver to orange. Silver is obviously cool, icy. Orange is obviously flamey fiery, warm. So the fact that the two of these are just stacked on top like that just doesn't look very pleasing to the eye. And this girl's actually very beautiful. I wanna continue to stress that because I don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings, you guys. I don't know if she did this makeup herself or if someone did it for her, but like this makeup is really not doing her beautiful features any justice. She's wearing like a bright red coral looking dress. I mean, you could have skipped shadow altogether, added like a thick, thick wing liner and then maybe threw on like a bright coral lip to go with the dress. That would have been fine. Everything else looks okay. I just feel like for prom, I just don't know if it's like the best application for prom, but you know what? At the end of the day, you've already gone to prom. You can change it. I'm sure you probably had a ton of fun and you're beautiful regardless. So does it matter? No. It's not the end of the world. Love the fact that it matches the dress so perfectly. It's champagne, but it's also a little silvery gray in there. I swear this demon knows when I'm filming. Every time I go to talk and critique the next look, she starts crying. So I gotta film with her on my lap. She won't let me finish. There she goes, look, there she goes, look. She, she knows what she's doing. She knows exactly what she's doing. So homegirl with the silver champagne eye, it's beautiful. I think it could have been executed a little bit better just around like this area, the little crease area. Um, when I zoomed in, it looked like some of the shadow was either wearing off or it wasn't blended all the way, but it is the perfect look for what you're wearing. It's kind of giving me like a little Princess Jasmine vibe. It really is. The little hair ties at the top, oh, and creativity. I like that, I like that. I probably would have never thought of that, but I really like that. Or you could have done some fun like pins or something, but this is really pretty. I love the fact that you use gold. She put like a little gold shoelace situation in her hair, tied it up, kept the hair off of the face. The face is the focal point. She's watching Baby Shark. That's why she's so quiet now. Can I put you down now? Cause you're getting on my nerves. The look is not something that I would have gone for for a look like this. It's a, a muted gray purple. What do they call that gray? I always forget the name of this color. It is muted, kind of mauve -y. She used like a dark stone purple brown liner and she said she took it off because she said it was too much. 
Honey, this is in no way, shape, or form too much. This is the perfect lip for this look. You know one of my signature things, I probably have talked about this maybe thrice on this channel. Whenever I'm doing a makeup look, the easiest way for me to coordinate is to have my crease color, match my blush, and then match my lips. So that's kind of like my little cheat of how I keep the look all uniform. And I feel like that's what she's doing here because she wore a pink blush. The colors that are in the crease are smoky purple-ish, you know, kind of like that gray-ish tone. And then the lip is doing the exact same thing. Girl, you look fabulous. It's perfect. Yes, red lip, yes! Dim if I had dimples, I'd be smiling everywhere. I'd be smiling in court. I would be smiling at the bank. I'd be smiling at police officers. I would be smiling everywhere, okay? My boo said, not only are you gonna see this highlight, you're gonna appreciate it, okay? You're gonna see it from all the way at the football court. This looks really good. It's very princessy to me. Like the eyes look like a gold crown. She looks like she carved it, cut the crease. Not the best picture quality, but I see what she's doing. I'm not sure if she got this done or she did this herself, but but when you see what she's wearing, you're like, okay, it totally, totally makes sense. It's perfect for what she's wearing. Absolutely perfect. The dress is princessy. It's very embellished. It's very gold. It's got a lot of beadery and jewels. So the fact that she went with gold on the eyes is absolutely perfect. She cherry picked the gold that's in her dress. She chose to throw that on the eyes and focus on that. Her jewelry is also gold. The red look, like red can never not look good with gold. It always, always, always looks flawless with gold. She kind of reminds me of Ellery a little bit. Like her face shape, she's giving me a little Ellery. Ellery, you got a twin out there, sis. Oh! Ah! Am I this cute? You went there with the brow bone. You did, didn't you? You went there. I really love how you dove head in with that gold up there. A lot of my sisters, my chocolate sisters are really, like we don't really do much with the brow bone just because I feel like it looks so scary sometimes. But she dove head first and said, I'm not playing with y'all and you're going to see it. You have the perfect face shape, like the perfect face shape and you have the perfect brow bone structure for this look. Because if I were to try to wear this because of the way that my face is shaped, I'd have to like actually tilt my head at a certain angle for you to see my brow bone, but you can kind of see this straight on. That's how good her face shape is. The brows are fabulous. The brows are absolutely fabulous. It just looks like she's dipped in highlight. Like she highlighted her eyes, she highlighted her brow bone, she highlighted her bulb, you know, I call that Rudolph. She did her cheeks, like she highlighted in every spot that you would think is not that obvious, but she did it and she went there. And of course, she didn't neglect the inner corner. I don't know if she learned that from me, sis. I would like to think I can take a little bit of credit for that because that's my signature too. Just saying, but this is like bomb. Whoever did your hair did that. In contrast, we have a very, very similar look, except this one looks a little bit more cut crease She wants to come back. This is, don't be mad at me. I love you, you are so beautiful. But this is, in my opinion, what happens when highlighting goes wrong. The eyes look beautiful. The eyes look really beautiful. Love whatever is on your lid. And I love the brows. The brows look bomb. The brows, nothing needs to change about the brows. I have a problem with how the highlight is placed and where it's placed. It's a lot. Now the thing is when you apply highlight, you guys, you really only have so many places of where you can load it up, okay? Whenever you're applying highlight, don't start here at the apple of your cheeks. Start up here at the corner of your eye and I guarantee you, it will improve your technique by far 10 times over. And if you apply it that way, it will prevent what's going on in this photo here. It just looks really heavy in the places where it shouldn't be heavy. It's a little distracting. Do you like your highlight, Jade? Jade said, I ain't worried about y'all. Why are you so cute? I can't. <laughs> This is the perfect example of simple, but very standout-ish. I mean, the eyes are so soft. It looks like she's probably wearing no more than three eyeshadows, like maybe an inner corner, a lid color, and then a soft, really, really soft crease, or maybe even she threw on a bronzer. I can't really tell. But the lash, <laughs> when she threw that lash on, she said, Baho. She said, prom queen who? Prom queen where? She ripped off your crown when she threw this lash on. That lash, is the standout for me. That lash is gorgeous. Jade likes it too. You like it, huh, Jade? Is that pretty? You like that lash, huh, Jade? Girl, do you think it's an R.W. Wispy? Or do you think it's Lily? Which one do you think it is, Jade? 
Jade thinks it's a Lulu lash. You heard the girl. This is really pretty. I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change a single thing. The lip is perfect for her complexion. This is probably like one of my favorite nude pink lips. I love, you guys know I love nude pink. There was a time like pre peachy nude where that's like all everywhere was pink and it got a little tiresome and I started to lose subscribers because I wouldn't switch it up, but it's fine. <laughs> you know what? I don't regret my past. I've owned it and I've come to terms with it. It's cool. You know, we all have checkered histories. We've all been through things, but she's wearing it and owning it. Actually, I need you to DM me what that lip is. I was so surprised. I didn't really see any boy. Like where are my boys at? My glam boys. Don't tell me these schools are out here being rude and discriminatory if you guys are trying to wear makeup at your schools. I don't really know the tea. I was definitely expecting Miss Ma'am. Miss Ma'am, can I can I film in peace, please? Actually, I'm gonna put you on the floor. You're making my hair look shiny. That was really fun. I would love to do this again sometime. Shout out to Denzel Dion again for this idea. You guys make sure you go and check him out and subscribe. He's really funny. He's just a breath of fresh air. And I really appreciate all of you guys that came through and submitted these looks. You guys gave me looks indeed. I was so here for it. I just love to see young people flourishing and talented and being good at stuff because when I was your age, I didn't really have a lot of people that were telling me like, hey, you're really good at this, you should keep it up. It was always like, oh, that's not, that's cute, but it's not good enough, you know? So when I see the younger generation like doing their thing on YouTube and just like doing their damn thing with the brushes, I can't be mad. I can't be mad. I love it. I'm here for it. And like, I want to encourage it as much as possible. So I'm so proud of you guys. Hopefully the feedback was helpful for everyone watching the video and not just for the people that were submitting their looks and receiving it. Maybe you guys could learn some tips. And I hope to see you guys in the next video, which I'm gonna conveniently put right here. What time is it? Let's see, your promise is gonna be for another three hours. I think you got time for another video, right? All right, I'm waiting. It's right here. Just click it. Just click it. Click it, okay.